Welcome back to Woodworking with Wes. We're in the paint shop today. On our Instagram, we showed a small video of a very special finish, a new finish that we had seen. I called it high tech, maybe it isn't. But we're going to show you how we do this finish in the paint shop today. And we're just gonna go through and, and do the process, and then we're gonna talk about the secret that makes this finish possible. Now, we had a request on our Instagram to not only do it in black with a white glaze, but to do it with a light gray and a black glaze. And we're gonna do both. We've completed our two uh, finishes, the light with the dark glaze and the dark with the white glaze. Now what we did, and, and you, as you watched, you noticed, we painted our color and then we put on the black glaze and then we took a soft sanding sponge and sanded the grain to highlight our black glaze that was in the grain. We did the same on our black finish, we sprayed our black stain and on, on the way we did it we sprayed our paint we sealed it then we put our glaze on and then we top coated after we had gone through and sanded our grain to highlight the grain of the wood now we told you at the very beginning of our video that there was a secret to make this come out and we're going to show you that secret now okay we've done our beautiful finishes now of our very uh cool looking finishes and I'm going to show you the secret that allows this type of finish to look this way. Um, typically when we do a piece of wood we sand nice and smooth and we stain and seal and glaze and do whatever and in order for the stain or the glaze I should say to uh, settle in the grooves the secret is to texture your wood and not just sand smooth. Sand first and then texture. And I'm going to show you that. But one of the other things that you need to re remember is this works on wood that has a real open grain like oak. And I've done these two pieces on oak and this is a piece of red oak also. And it works real good on a piece of red oak. But on a, on a wood that has a, a, a smoother grain like a piece of alder or, or cherry, this particular type of finish doesn't do well. So remember that your selection of wood type pretty much has to be oak or ash or something like that. But let's show you what we did. By highlighting the grain, you need to wire wheel it or wire brush it. If you have just one small piece, you can just take a wire brush and wire brush. Or if you have a little bit more and put a wire wheel in your drill, you can wire wheel it. I had quite a bit to do, and so Makita makes a nylon brush wheel on a, almost like a belt sander. And I'm going to show you how that works. This is a very cool piece of, of a tool to have if you are going to do a, a lot of this. And uh, we're going to just demonstrate how this works.
oak has a very open grain and a very distinct difference in the soft and hard portions of the grain. Your hard portions are the portions that don't grind down. Your soft portion or your grain portions are the parts that sand down and allow the stain. Now, you can't see it very good in a piece of wood like this, but I wanted to show you on the white piece. You can really see the distinct texturing that is necessary in order to make this finish work. And that's the secret. Start off with the right kind of wood, oak or ash or something like that, and texture your piece of wood. Then you spray your paint, your glaze, your sealer, your glaze, and that's the secret to doing this very unique finish. It's been fun showing you this type of finish and how to do it and the secret. We look forward to seeing you next time on Woodworking with Wes. Thank you.